Hey guys and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 21. I just wanted to do a little um, makeup palette review of this 18W Morphe Natural Wonder Palette while I did my makeup. So that's what I'm going to do. It comes with one of these clear plastic um, protectors with all the names of the palettes on there. And this is what it looks like. It is very neutral and it has a little bit of everything. The thing that I like about this um, plastic thing is it has the name of the palette in the bottom so you know which way to put it and so that you don't get the names of the um, shades wrong and you know which side is like the dirtier side, like the bottom side. So before I do my eyeshadow, I will show you what I do for the rest of my makeup on every day. I use the Fit Me Concealer Maybelline in number five. I think it's fair. It's ivory. And I do it under my eyes and I do a little bit on my eyelids for eyeshadow primer. No, I'm in here. Yeah, it's me. And then I blend it in with this makeup brush. It's the Sephora Multitasker Complexion 45. If you've seen any of my makeup videos before, this is the brush that I use for almost everything on my face. And then I use my L'Oreal Improbable um, foundation, powder foundation in the color 120 vanilla and I set under my eyes and I do a little bit on my eyelid too to finish off the base. I use this Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush number 19. If you've seen any of my makeup videos before you know that I use this all the time too but I'm just going to take the shade grounded and I'm going to put it in my crease. I really like this palette though because like I said it's very neutral and it's very easy to work with. It blends really good and all the colors pretty much work together how you'd want them to. But they blend super super good and it was only like $22 or $20. I'll link it down below if I can find it. I don't remember. But I really like that they're so neutral but you can definitely get like high glam looks out of this because it has a black and it has all the way up to like a skin tone for me like very light um, and I really like that. And then I'm going to take the shade Dawn Glow which is this one right here. This one. We're gonna take a couple just to a little bit to kind of blend in that edge. And now I'm gonna take the shade Kyo Call, which is this one. I'm just going to do a little bit on the outer corner. I do really like this shade though. I'll swatch them at the end for you guys. I haven't swatched every color yet, but I've swatched or used all of them. And then I'm going to use Scorched, which is this one, and just do the same thing, but just less. Darken up that outer corner. And then I'm going to take this shade Gold Mine on my finger. And I'm going to just put it on the inside corner. And then I'm going to kind of just blend in the corners. Take a makeup wipe and wipe off my finger and also wipe off the corners right here kind of sharpen it up a little bit. I'm just going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and then the Lash Paradise 
I think this is L'Oreal. And 601, black is black. And finish up my eyeliner. I always do very thin eyeliner. I always do a little wing. If you guys want a tutorial on how I do my eyeliner, please comment down below. I'm going to finish off camera really quick and then I'll swatch the makeup palette for you. Okay, so I did put that concealer and the foundation on my arm so that it was like a clean, clear palette for it. But I'm just gonna go across the top row and then down the middle row and then down the bottom row. And I will tell you guys what their names are as we go. But this is um, Dawn Glow, which is the neutral. I mean, it doesn't really show because it's very neutral. This is Big Sky. Showing the more subtle, which I like. I don't know if you can even see that. It's very neutral shimmer. This is the Sand Painter. This is Sunstone, which I don't think I have watched before. Ooh, that's pretty. This is grounded, the one that I used on my makeup look today. Grounded is this bottom one. And then this one is sedimental feeling, sedimental feeling. It's dark brown. This purple color next is called Lily Valley. This next one is called Precipe Kiss. It's hard to blend it with my finger. That bottom one. Ooh, look at that. Gold mine is on the bottom. And then this is Kyle Call. This is one that I used on my eyes today. It's more of an orangey. They're more subtle, which is good if you're a beginner because then you can blend it out really easy and you don't have to worry about majorly messing up. But let me get my arm reprepped and then I will show you guys in a second. Okay, so this next one is called Stolen Thunder. I've never swatched this one before, so I hope it's pretty. Well, it's a lot more subtle than I thought it would be. It's like a purple undertone shimmer. This one's called Off Trail. Cocoa color, it's super dark. And um, this one's called Sand City. I have used this one and I really like it. It's like a rose gold. You can see it, it's really pretty on. This one's called Strike Copper. Oh, that's beautiful. It's hard to tell. <laughs> and Scorched, this is the last color I used on my eyes today a dark red. This next one is called Wild Heart Shimmer. This next one is called Scarlet Marble. It's like a black shimmer, but it's definitely cocoa. And then this last one is called Pure Obsidian. It is a matte black. It's super, super dark. So that is the 18W Natural Wonders. Yeah, Morphe palette. I really enjoy it. I would recommend it, especially if you're new into makeup. It's not that expensive and it's pretty good quality, especially for the price point. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you go get this palette because like I said, I really like it. But I will see you in the next one. See ya.